What's up? It's Dre Brooks Vision, semi pro football news. It's me, Dre Brooks. This is where we get your scores and we get you the highlights, man. We got in here Arkansas Punishers wide receiver Bobo Smith Jr. What's up, Bobo? I'm chilling, man. Trying to make it. That's good, man. Hey, we are going to start off just, I appreciate you coming through, doing the interview, man. Oh, just tell me a little bit about yourself and where you're where you from. As y'all know, I'm Bobo Smith Jr., man. Maybe the one of the fastest guys in the league right now. Uh, I went to school at Dalloway High School, man, back in Pine Bluff, which I'll probably say is Crime Bluff. Mm -hmm. uh, played running back in corner all my life, really. So I'm more of a defensive guy. But I didn't start playing offense until I went to, I got recruited when I went to UAM and played in Monticello. Okay. What, 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 uh, you say you played at Dalloway. What year did you play? 13. 13, I graduated. Okay, so that was Coach Lee Hartman came back, right? Yeah, he came back the year after. Yeah, I, I uh, played against Coach Hartman in the 90s. They were, man, that's when they were powerhouse. The yeah, Irvin Tisdale, Kevin Williams, Eric uh, Jenkins. Yeah. We, we got, got, got Junior on our team. Well, yeah, or, yeah, his son, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, his dad, real cool. And uh, 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 I remember, uh, see, I played as a geek. Coach Hardman invited me to go to a Razorback football camp with them uh, when I was in 11th grade one summer. And so I know I've been knowing Coach Hardman forever, man. Forever, ever, and ever. Uh, so you say you played running back at Dollar. You played at UAM. What year did you play there? Was it was it 2013? Yeah. Well, under Coach Hud Jackson. Yeah, that fall, yeah, it was fall. Was Coach Jackson? Yeah, right. Coach. Coach Jackson. Yeah. I know a lot of coaches, man. I know a lot of, see, I, coach, I had Coach had high school football, and, Met a lot of coaches at clinics and stuff like that. Got the norm, and uh, I know all about them. Uh, you went to UAM. What position did you play? Receiver. Receiver. Yeah, I played receiver in college too. I love receiver, man. But I played running back in high school. But I played receiver. Did you? Uh, did you finish out? Did you? Did you? Uh, uh, how many years you played there? So when did you when did you start playing semi pro football? When did you when did you decide like man, I'm about to I'm I'm, I'm gonna play semi pro football. I see it's an outlet, you know. Uh, uh, when did you set in your mind, you know, I'm, I'm gonna play some semi pro football instead of going this other way? Say I'm gonna train and I'm gonna go try to go to this leagues over here. I'm gonna but I'm gonna get semi. -pro I want to say it was like first. 18. 18. I had my son. Okay. I started, I played with the Steelers. Okay. Brandon McKeever was the owner. Right. Of, 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 of that uh, team. Uh, all right, let's get to the, the season over, the preseason game. Tyler Quad Vikings. How many touch? y'all know you had that big touchdown, that long touchdown, then you had a couple of passes you caught, could have broke them. How many yards did you have? What, what, how many, how many, what, how many stats? What, what was your stats? Uh, I don't know. I think the one who had the most was JP, and I came second with JP. He had a hundred and like twenty some. Okay, okay. How many catches did you have? I want to say three. Three. I know that one big one for the touchdown. That was about what fifty yards. No, nah, it was like sixty. Some. Yeah, about sixty some. Uh, then you had that other one. You could have broke it. Yeah. That was what about? I say you. I say you had about hundred some yards, yeah, about hundred one, hundred two, yeah, something like that. Somewhere in there. Touchdown. And a touchdown. Right. That, that touchdown was a big touchdown because y'all was down. Yeah. Y'all was down, and boom, touchdown. But uh, 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 but if you are a head coach, keep your stats because at the end of the year, we're gonna give out the MVP, and then not only that. Semi Pro Football News come out with a magazine, okay? And we want to put a player on front of the magazine, but we got to have his stats. We ain't gonna just pick somebody. We got to have these stats, okay? Just giving it just a heads up to, to coaches that are do that. Try to keep your stats. Keep up with your stats. Because uh, we're looking for some players' character, uh, leadership, just all kind of just things that's athletic wise, you know? So um, you're playing Semi Pro Football. What is your goals? Because there's young men out there that, that watch my show and, and they ask me questions and stuff like, what's, what's the, because I've been playing some my pro football for 20 years. I just took off this year. And they, watch, they, they ask me questions like, 
what's the purpose of my pro football? Can I do something with it? Can I? I want them to hear from a younger person, because I'm 44, man. I want them to hear from a younger person. What is your goal for semi-pro football? And for a goal, rather, I say like this. If you young, ain't got kids, you know, you probably want to get them so you can be able to go somewhere. But as an oldest cat, man, you, you want to be the best, so you're going for the title. Yeah. So you ain't trying to go for the title or trying to get out there. I mean, like uh -huh. I say, why are you playing? Is you playing for fun? You know what I'm saying? Let us know because there's other people dedicated to trying to leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because when, when you take it serious, it becomes fun. Right. Man, I used to, <laughs> I used to train, man. I used to, man, I'm my, I, I used to train like it was NFL. I used to watch film. I used to try to pull up teams on YouTube, watch film on. I used to watch Sean Ch Taylor and Charles Wilson kind of and free yeah. safety. And that's how, because I played receiver in college. And when I got to see my pro football, I started playing free safety. Because I tried, I mean, I was injured, broke leg, arms, shoulder, neck concussions. So I got tired of getting hit, man. So I had to train myself how to play free safety. And when we being a coach, I learned how to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I used to watch them guys, man. But if you take it serious, it's fun, and that's big outlets. I know people that, I know a guy, he was 40 years old. He got a contract with Arena Football League. With Arena Football League, they sent a trainer to him to train while he's while during the season. Not doing the, not doing the season, and then when he, you know, go for the season, play. But there's a lot of outlets overseas, European League, Arena League, other minor leagues that, that, right. that, that, that pay, you know what I'm saying? That's way up north, they play on TV. So there's a lot of outlets. You know what I'm saying? So you try to. So what are you trying to do with it? Are you trying to go that route, or you, or you, or you want to play semi-pro football and, and, and do your thing with it? Cause it it can be fun. You know what I'm saying? See, with me, I can really, like you say, play for the title and be able to help others that's trying to get somewhere. Cause mm -hmm. for me, it's probably a done deal. Man, I got two kids. I, I mean, it's not over with, but if I do go, I need to go big. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Cause I got yeah. a family to take care of. Yeah. See, I, I understand it because one year when I played, I was 37 or 8 at the time. And there was these scouts overseas watching this player from another team. Right. And I was out there balling, man. I was playing free. So I had like three interceptions. I was balling. So they came and talked to me, man. And and I told them how old I was. They were shocked. <laughs> they was like, man, I thought you was about 20 something. Like, they wanted me to get on the plane the next day. And come fly on out. You see what I'm saying? Right. But I told him, I said, if it's like next summer, I can do it. So I can plan. I got kids. Right. You know, I got a pet plan to prepare. I just can't up and leave. So I understand what you're saying about about, about that because it, now they give you opportunity that, like, we want you to come play next year. Right. Maybe six months, then you, you can fly back over. You, you can have time to plan, prepare, yeah. plan. You still can do it, man. Right. You still can do it. Don't, don't let that hold you back. That You still can do it, though. You know what I'm saying? What's your favorite player and why? NFL. NFL, college, you can be in anybody. Mm. Who's, your favorite, who's your favorite player? Julio. Julio Jones? Okay. Why, why, why Julio? Uh, Julio, like I said, he probably one of the, well, he was like the only target, you know what I'm saying, at Atlanta. So the way he, how he preparing, he style. Mm -hmm. One thing that I be trying to get myself to do is, is be more aggressive when the ball's in there. Because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you're going, I'm going to find them, you know, meet people that the same speed as me mm -hmm. or at the same level I'm on, you know what I'm saying? So, me steady watching film on Julio, how he be aggressive when the ball's in there. Mm -hmm. So, that's, that's what I'm working on now, yeah. trying to be, so I can have all levels, you know what I'm saying, uh -huh. to be the best receiver I, that I plan to be. Mm -hmm. You can get a thousand yards, man. Yeah. You get a thousand, you get a thousand, you get a thousand yards, 30 touchdowns. That's touchdown. the plan. That's you know the plan, saying? man. You know what I'm saying? What you running the 40? Tell me about what you running the 40. You, 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 what you running the 40? Me what roughly, I want to say about a 4-4, four, four, but I, I think it's probably. What's your I'm size and height? Tell, tell everybody your size and height. I'm 6 one. Last time I weighed myself, I was 206. 6 one, 206 receiver, I'm running 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> hey. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can play overseas, man. I got I got a friend that coach overseas. He coached at MIT on staff and stuff. Man, I, I man, I know coaches, man. And, and, and but man, I have tried to help semi-pro football players, man. And 
not all, but some go over there with the mentality that they have over here. You know what I'm saying? They go over there and they get on the team, they start missing practice. Right. They go over there, start partying. They go over there, just start missing practice, start just doing other things, man. Start meeting these overseas women, start having the family, kids, and just forget about football. You know what I'm saying? And and get, 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 and get, get paid well doing that, just, just playing football over there. You know what I'm saying? You, it's tax free. They pay for your stay for the whole season. They pay for your food and they give you a rental car. So all you do is pocket the money. Right. You know what I'm saying? All you do is pocket the money. And then you come back over here and stay, stay for however long till the season start and then go back over there. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people, there's young guys that want to play some of my pro football that's in high school, that's thinking they're gonna graduate, they're 18, and they think like, I seriously send my pro football. Do you have a training regimen? Yeah. Do you get up in the morning? How many days do you train? Every morning when I get up, I at least give me about two miles to get my legs warmed up, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And then I, I do a lot of cardio. But yeah. on my break time at work, I hit the gym. Like I hit the treadmill, I hit the- Is they gym place. back open over there? Oh yeah. So I hit the gym on my break and it's a, you know, a little 30, 45 minutes to an hour. Hit the gym like that, but Mostly, I do a whole bunch of cardio. Okay. What about, do you do like uh, spar ladders and stuff like that? Footwork? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I gotta get my foot. This, see, that's another thing I'm working on this year. I gotta get my footwork down. I got all that stuff, man. Yeah, I gotta get my footwork I got all down. that stuff. How, how you think I'm 44 and I'm still able to play? <laughs> I, 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 shouldn't, I shouldn't be playing football at all because of the injuries I took and I'm my age. And the reason why, I can tell a lot of young people the reason why I still can play because I started, when I first played some of my pro football, I, I learned how to rebuild my body to a, actually an athlete. You know what I'm saying? Right. And to a football player. Man, I couldn't bend down, I couldn't do nothing. My knees was bad, man, I had all kinds of stuff. But when I got the training regimen down, I started eating right, I started working out, I started, I started getting equipment like an academy sports, a spar ladder, cones, sleds, you can pull, build your speed up, uh, the hurdles, the medicine balls, all that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? And hitting the weights, you know? And, uh, but y'all first matchup against the Bucks, March 13th, okay? You looking forward to that matchup? Oh, for sure, so, man. Cause you said that's who you played for before, right? Right. So that, that's kind of like a trade, that's playing against the team. It's gonna be a personal, personal game, man. And it's here, and y'all, is it gonna be at one more stadium or it's gonna be at, I think they changed it then, it's gonna be it's a meal source? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, I wish it was at one more stadium, boy. I like that stadium. Yeah, I, mean, I like I like the way I played yeah. the Vipers. Uh, just the just the just the, just the vibe there. The vibe, you know? yeah. And it makes you want to play football. I feel like football, you know what I'm saying? And so uh as a receiver, who do you think would be your toughest matchup? Who got the who got the who got the, the baddest DBs? Who got the toughest DBs? Because you, you played the Clans since 2018, you played against some teams already. In this league, I want to say we played probably the only team we really played in this league when I was playing with the Bosa, probably the Aces and Silverbacks. Oh, okay. Everybody else, we was new because, you know, we played in the Oh, okay, okay. And well, that's with the period, you know, that's a whole different yeah. league thing. And they, they had to hide a whole lot of couple of good guys, but, I mean, it's only two teams I know, you know, I know I can't, count other teams out there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With us being a first year team and then mm -hmm. as us recruiting, so I know they're gonna be looking and watching film, so yeah. Yeah. I'm expected to get keyed on. Mm -hmm. So this gonna help other teammates to do what they have to do and hopefully I get opened up in the back burner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you and your quarterback work out together sometime? Oh yeah, we have our own positions uh, with the quarterbacks and receivers, so we all get on pass and all that. Okay, okay. You know, what you got to, what encouragement you got for a young man who, he, I don't care if he's at, just getting out of high school or he just, let's say he played high school football. He, he, he was a college recruit, went to college, played one year, got injured. Now he's, you know, sit on the couch, he's thinking about football all the time. You know how you do, right. you know, think about football all the time. 
What encouragement can you give him? And he thinking about want to get back out there on the field. What encouragement can you give him? Because you've been playing since 2018. You played when you're in college, you played high school. What encouragement can you give that man? Man, you got to stick to something. You, if you love football, you got to stick with it, man. It's not even old with Like I said, you got different, like semi-pro. You're not too old. You, you're still at a young age, so you can maybe get your film up and we can. Uh, there's, there's coaches out there now that's trying to get people out of here. Like I coach, he's trying to get people out of here. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 you gotta just stick with your passion. If you love football, stick with football, man. Just train, you gotta keep training and work on the injury. Yeah, yeah. It's good you said that. Cause man, I remember when I, I had, man, I got a pad. It, it might sound weird to a lot of people, I got a pad and I wrote down all the injuries that I had. Like from my ankle, broke my leg, my knee. All the stuff that I needed to focus on to strengthen more than this side. You know, I work out on this side too, but I had to, like if I did dumbbells, I had to do 40, 35 over here, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it can get even out. And so, but yeah, this is semi-pro football news. We got Bobo Smith Jr. in here. They first game, y'all got any preseason games coming up? Nah. Y'all kind of done with yeah. it. So y'all just for the y'all just for the say, hey, we for the focus yeah, on the season yeah, now. It's like, cause man, you get injured doing the preseason right. games, man. And then you miss you look up, your season gone. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The way, man. Yeah. And so you know, it's fun to have them. But I, if, if I was a coach, I I have only one or two. And I mean, I do like the NFL. Do I play my starters maybe the first quarter and the rest of that? I play right. the rest of them to try to see if we can what we can do with them and utilize. I would play my starters, you know, that much. If you get injured, man, and shoot. Because if we do, I won't be playing. I'm not going to sit here and say I am. Yeah, because, uh, man. But, yeah, the game March 13th. Come out and check them out. Bubbo Smith Jr., Arkansas Punishers. Uh, what can you say good about the organization, Arkansas Punishers? You know, because players out there looking for teams. They're looking for teams. What, you know, they want to they. What? What, what can you tell me about Arkansas Punishers? What, I want to play for a team. I'm trying to make a decision because there's a lot of them out there. Why should I come to the Arkansas Punishers? Because uh, you're you're a player. Man, they willing to give back, man, and, and help you and help you receive, uh, receive uh, you know, achieve your goals. Um, they willing to uh, help, with, like help you get out there with like hitting coaches up, mm -hmm. sending emails, having film, mm -hmm. using your huddle and all that. You know what I'm saying? They they helping you, not trying to get you on the team. Rather, they rather have you on the team, but they also trying to, cause they ask you, did you have you been to college? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So how many? It, how your eligibility looking and all that to see can they get you other? That's good. See can they get you other? And they got arena. They got all trials. Like Justin got the click him and Chris Goodwin, mm -hmm. uh, Terry Jordan, all them got the little hook up on mm -hmm. colleges and mm -hmm. coaches on arenas and all that. So. Yep. So it's a good organization to it's join. Good, yeah. I, I like the, see that's, that's, that's a good thing, man, because I like the way they got the staff, they got general manager, right. director recruiting, they got this, they, you know, they, they set it up like a real team. Right. You know, it's a semi-pro team, but it's getting set up like a real team. And three or four years from now, if they keep that same energy, what would it look like four years from now? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but this is my pro football news. Bobo Smith Jr. in here, man. You got a shout out you want to say to anybody? Or, or, or. Hey, all I can say is, man, it's going to be a good, good year, man. It's going to be competition everywhere. I mean, I don't understand everybody want to, you know, come at uh, the Punishers, you know what I'm saying? They looking forward to playing, you know. We got a lot of rivals in Arkansas and Little Rock. You got the Bolts and Extras, man. Hey, we be looking for y'all. We got y'all back to back, man. Hey, it's going to be a good game, man. Just watch out for five, man. It's gonna be a good season, man. But we got Bobo Smith Jr. here, semi-pro football news, March 13th, come out and watch him. Number five, Julio Jones, and nah, just messing. But you know what, let's go and let's stay focused.